This is In Demand. I'm Alex James tonight. Proud to be welcoming Marina and the Diamonds to the studios. Hello. How are you? Very good. I need to put your microphone on. That wasn't a very good start, was it? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Um, Excellent. It's two years since the first album. I know. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty average. (laughs) Well, yeah, I suppose so, but it doesn't feel like that. Oh, do you know... I think it's gone really quick. Yeah, I feel feel so too. Um, But I think, yeah, it's pretty average. I'm kind of obsessed with looking at artists' Wikipedias and seeing how fast they write. Is that what you're basing your kind of career on? Yeah, my whole (laughs) career on Wiki. Um, But it's usual, like, two... Two to three years. Three years is quite a long time. Yeah. If it's four years, it's like, wow, are they ever coming back? Well, this is it, isn't it? But now we live in this world where everything is just churned out and it's once an album a year. Yeah, I don't like that. Blame Rihanna for that. Oh, I like she Rihanna, though. We all like Rihanna. But she works like a machine. She does, yeah, very hard worker. Uh, first single, Prima Donna is amazing. Thank you. But the first album was quite almost eclectic to a certain extent. And it wasn't perhaps what the British music buying public were used to from their female artists. Yeah, true. But now you've kind of <laughs> indulged yourself a little bit in the American way. Yes, I have. So explain that to us. Why is that? I didn't really change my writing process, but I wrote a lot more with people. So for the first album, it was a bit all over the shop, to be honest. I had six producers, and mm-hmm. then I did two songs with Dr. Luke, who's yeah. a big pop producer. Um, who He's did Katy Madonna. Perry's main man. He is, he is. And Kesha as well, actually. Yeah. And Britney. Yes. He's my, the love of my pop life. But you do, you love your, your American female pop stars, I do, actually. I re- I've always really, really loved Britney and obviously Madonna. Um, but yeah, it was just a real challenge for me coming from a DIY background to, well, put myself out there and go for it. It's like I've changed my look wildly. I've, I've become what I assume a pop star looks like. And I'm working with pop producers. Yeah. So part of it is pure joy and part of it is a fascination with, but what, with what stereotypes. Fasc- a lot of artists, there's something about the way they present themselves and the way that they take themselves quite seriously Yeah. that won't allow them to honestly admit that they've made that decision on purpose. Does that make sense? No, that's so true. And I think it's almost a skill that, for example, an artist who I really admire, Lady Gaga, in the beginning... Her her sense her uh, sense of identity and the way in which she presented that was so good that I I in my head she popped out of the womb like that yeah you know that's what you really thought absolutely yeah even though you know everyone wakes up in the morning looking pretty much the same you know yeah. no makeup so <laughs> but I love the fact you've just openly admitted to it and saying this is the decision I've made this is why I'm doing it and almost Madonna doesn't do that she. She does it, and you wait for to see what's next and who she's going to be. Mm. She never talks about it. She doesn't talk about the decision-making process. So more sh- more people should be honest about yeah, the decisions and that I, they're making. I think that must have. Been, I think I sense from her that that was nice for her because the thing is, if you set up your stall as saying, "I never take off a pair of high heels ever," because that's who I am. It's like, well, the rest of your life, what if you want to go mountain biking one day? Yeah. Or like, you know, just be a normal person. There's there's no shame in that. And it doesn't mean that, you know, if you're an artist and you're not totally wacky or like crazy in the brain, it that doesn't take anything away from your talent. All right, let's chat a little bit more. After you've introduced your brand new single, go for it. OK, Marina. hello, I'm Marina and the Diamonds. And this is my new song, Prima Donna. This is In Demand. In Demand. This is In Demand tonight with Marina and the Diamonds. The video for Prima Donna is a wonderful work of art. Thank well. you. Um, how much of a, a say are you getting in, in that side of stuff as well? Well, I think it's quite hard. When you enter the pop world, people suddenly, for some reason, think that you don't do the work, that you've got a team behind you. And I, I think even coming from the background that I've come from, someone uh, in Germany asked the other day, did you even write the song Prima Donna? Just because it was produced by Dr. Luke. Yeah. It's like... And I was like, ah, so this is like the world I'm entering. Yeah. So I'm obsessed with the idea of building a concept and how artists build their vision and if they do it themselves. And it has to come from the artists. If they're the songwriter, then only they know what vision they have and what inspired them. Um, You're touring with Coldplay. Mm Mm-hmm. When does that begin? Uh, End of May, and then it goes throughout the summer, really. Okay, so so is that pretty much the summer planned out for you? Kind of. I've got my own American tours in there somewhere, but... Have you got quite a big fan base over there? 
Yeah, enough to tour on it. That's good. And sell out, so... Amazing. Any festivals in the UK you can tell us about? Nothing. Nothing I'm, at I'm all? I'm not doing any UK festival. Is that... You've made that decision? I've made the decision. <laughs> That's a shame. I know, but 2013, I'll do lots. Okay. Yeah. Glastonbury will be back by then. Exactly. Well, it's fallow year this year. Yeah, it's, it's rubbish anyway. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of like I've got this massive hole in the middle of the summer and it's we keep talking about what we're going to fill it with and it's like nothing's as Do you good. always go to Glastonbury? I've been for the last three years. Wasn't it amazing... Uh, two years ago the weather was oh my god it was the best festival i've ever been it was oh i'm so happy (laughs) it makes me sad i know me too (laughs) it was like hotter than mexico or something was it It was like 32 degrees it was hotter than this studio (laughs) (laughs) this is a hot studio god damn it so you get you don't get any time off until the end of the summer then um i think i'll squeeze in a week somewhere probably in august but um, Where's your uh, location of choice for marina break? I would quite like to go somewhere exotic this time, like Bermuda. Um, but my, uh, but I'm scared of the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> my, my manager told me off. Right. He was like, "For God's sake, <laughs> pull yourself together." <laughs> that was my first thought. Um, not sure yet, though. I like Italy a, a lot as well. Yeah, mm. amazing. Thank you very much for coming to see us. Thank you. It's a pleasure. And you've recorded live tracks for us as well, which is just magnificent. Marina, yeah. thank you. Thank you. 